also to acknowledge several people here. I'm sorry I couldn't do it earlier because each one of you is important. Thank you so much for coming. Like Sam is sitting in front of me. He's a vice president of our club, Sam Sam, member of Community Board 15, leader in Asian American Community at Shipson Bay, like liaison to 61st Precinct Council in our. Thank you so much, Sam. Leader Channel Radio Left, you know, and so she's also very important. Every one of you is very important, like, don't get me wrong. Of course, member of houses would not be member of houses if not Angie, who is vice president of Tenant Association, and tireless worker there, and she's helping this club in every possible way. Thank you so much, Angie. And of course, Lorraine, thank you very, very much. And, you know, I want all judges here, please stand up, like, you know, like, and candidates for judges too, by the way. So please, I want you to say your name because we don't have time. To know. Hey everybody, I'm Judge Lillian Wan and I'm sitting in Family Court and uh, I thank you, uh, Adri and Margarita. And, and we endorsed you last, last time. Yes, okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Teresa Sicato. I'm full acting Supreme Court. I'm looking to become a full Supreme Court. I am currently sitting in the matrimonial division at the Supreme Court and despite the fact that Ari and Margarita, oh, it's a pleasure to be here, Councilwoman, it's truly an honor have already endorsed, there are forces. Yes. There are extremely, extremely qualified, dedicated candidates. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you very much. And Gina Levy, I'm running in the 8th Municipal Court District. It's Canarsie all the way down to Bensonhurst. Everything along the water, um, close to Avenue M and onto Coney Island. Um, I'm running, I have his support, I have Mr. Traeger's, Councilman Traeger's support, um, and I hope you'll go out and vote. We're still a little bit away, it's September 13, but hopefully I'll convince you all in the meantime. Time flies. I was also in the she just left, uh, yeah. she was last time around, and someone else also was here, I don't remember. That was Derek and Nichols, she um, may be considering running Maybe at a later time. Okay. Do you want to say something? So it's all time. Okay, no? Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for coming. And Brian Gottlieb also is very modestly sitting there. He is like our favorite, and you know, like you'll find a way because we believe your great attorney and great friend of this club will support you in any way, shape, or form. Thank you, Brian, for everything. So, uh, Mr. It's very difficult because it's already 9.10 and usually we like wrapping up, but few more things because like we didn't finish yet. I promise to give a chance to say a few words about county committee. I already mentioned that this year, not just I'm running for election uh, and Margarita running for election, and all of these uh, great elected officials running for election and candidates, but we also have a race or candidates for county committee several times in our 45th assembly district and in southern Brooklyn it happened that county committee was not just super important but I would say crucial in selecting or electing the next democratic candidates and making sure that um, I already gave several examples like for example was state senator um, John Sampson we didn't endorse him last time when he was running for election and uh, he was very upset but then he got conviction, and uh, now we are not upset because we, we did the right thing. To, we did the right thing, but the point is, it was a county committee meeting that decided who would be the democratic candidate, and Margarita was there. It was not so easy. Now everybody is saying it was easy. It was not easy, and Roxanne Perso was our choice. He is currently state senator. We saw her today. She was in this club many, many times. She's a very good state senator, Roxanne Perso. But the point is how important county committee is. And of course I know that our guests, I know David Goldberg from New Kings Democrats wants to say something. Can you you want to say a few words? Sure. Yeah, okay. Fast. Yeah. Quickly. No more than two, three minutes. All right. Okay? No, no, it'll be really quick. Okay. All right. So about, about county committee. Right. So the Brooklyn Democratic County Committee. Um, it is the lowest level um, of office you can attain, um, but it has a lot of power, right? Um, Brooklyn is the most democratic place in the country, both big D and small d, um, uh, and the county committee determines things like you said, judges, um, special election, nominees, very important issues. Um, but the county committee has 
correct me if I'm wrong here, about 5,000 seats on it. Right now, only about 3,000 are filled. So there's plenty of openings in the county committee. Um, and um, you know, some districts, some parts of Brooklyn better than others. Actually, this district is better, is on above average. For certain trying parts. to be active. Yes, <laughs> um, for me. Um, but basically, by um, getting people onto and into county committee, you know, Brooklyn has to say. Think of it as what you know. What if uh, Congress was only two thirds full, right? You know, we don't. You know, people would be not be represented. Areas would be missing. So um, the whole point of um, what this New King's Democrat Initiative called Rep Your Block is to encourage people to run for county committee to help them out to give them instructions on it. Um, and so yeah. do you want to take it from there? Sure. So um, Rep Your Block is a community-led campaign dedicated to helping everyday Brooklyn Democrats run for a seat on county committee. What that means is that our club is not, we're not running ourselves, we're not running a slate, we're creating a platform to make county committee more accessible to all Brooklynites and specifically to communities who have been underrepresented on county in the past. Um, and so um, basically, you know, we have a website, repyourblock.com. You can sign up. If you sign up, we will reach out to you. We'll talk to you about running for county committee. We can answer your questions. We'll invite you to a petitioning training and we'll help you run. Um, what does running mean? It means getting about 30 to 50 signatures of registered Democrats. Um, and you can run with, you know, like two to four people on, on your petition. So you can split up the work. It's, you know, getting a dozen signatures of people who are already registered Democrats. Most seats end up being unopposed and we actually kind of, we work with all the different clubs to try and make sure that um, we can get everyone, as many people on as possible to avoid primaries. So, um, you know, once you get on, it's two meetings a year, but those two meetings can be very important, you know, especially like Ari was talking about, when there's special elections, the county committee does weigh in on that, on who the Democratic nominee is. Um, and right, so there's no primary vote when there's a special election. It's the county committee decides, and that's the Democrat who gets to run in the special election. Yeah, so you know, we're not advocating for any specific candidate or policy. What we're advocating for is for people to get involved and to play a role in the party. And if all of those seats were filled, then all of Brooklyn would have more of a say. And so, you know, we encourage you guys to run. We encourage you to encourage your neighbors to run. Um, people who are active in your community, people that um, you think should have a say in the Democratic Party at the most local level. If you want to run for county committee, or if you know someone who wants to run for county committee, also let me and Margarita know. We would help you in any way, shape, or form. In 2014, uh, about 20 of our candidates were challenged. Uh, 19 of them won the election, only one lost, but because the person didn't, was not active, didn't collect a single signature, <laughs> and then changed his mind. But otherwise, he would so we have a very good record, you know, when we run our people for county committee, we're always winning. And we're helping everybody, by the way. From 18 to... Uh, no. You do have to be able to vote. A so it's like 18. 18. Yeah. 18. Yeah. It's, it's whatever the rules are for becoming a registered Democrat. Of course. <laughs> of course, it's a voting page. Yes. Yeah. You just need to be a registered Democrat. Yeah, I think that's the only rule. So as long as you're old enough to register a Democrat, you're a registered Democrat, you can be. Any other questions? We want them. We want some fun. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Yes.